What is going on guys and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So today is a sad day, but we'll see how we make out here. So as you guys can see, we only have five GPUs in place. We are missing our sixth GPU. So unfortunately, um, it, I found the other day that the fans weren't spinning on it and it wasn't reporting within Hive OS. So that's what we see here. Uh, this is the 470. Uh, one of the six that we just got, uh, I don't know, uh, not too, too long ago, actually. Um, so while I kind of look into this, uh, I did look online and uh, I was actually in the Red Panda Mining's Discord. There's a GPU repair uh, sub channel and there's a guy named Jim that actually has this ISO that you can um, uh, put onto a USB drive and boot to it. And it does some testing of your GPU. So we're going to test that out in a future video and see how we do. But that in mind, um, we're gonna take this guy. Um, now this is an uh, MSI NVIDIA um, 970, four gigabyte card, uh, overclock card. That one's just a standard 970. And we're gonna put that in our rig here. And then we're gonna go ahead and boot up. I'm gonna show you guys in Hive OS how exactly to go ahead and run AMD and also run uh, NVIDIA cards at the exact same time on one flight sheet. So in the meantime, um, this actually is still booting, so I am gonna shut it down. Um, don't you love when it first starts out? It barely does like any mega hash. There we go. So right now our 970s, I'm sorry with the fans are loud. The 970s here are getting about 13.9, 13.6, 13.8 mega hash each. Uh, so roughly right around 70, a little shy uh, mega hash. And we're running on Ravencoin. This is not on Ethereum, we're running running uh, Ravencoin right now. So let me go ahead and power this down and then we'll get the next card kind of plugged in and uh, good to go. So I'll be back in just one minute. All right, so we're gonna try this and hopefully the camera does not fall over. It's kind of resting on the uh, open frame uh, here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we kind of have everything set up and good to go already um, with our riser here. We just left it in place. Uh, I did test it. Uh, it is not the riser. It's not the cables. We kind of went through and tested everything um, and everything is good to go. All right. So we got that in place. Let's click it in. Uh, we'll go ahead and get it screwed in here. There we go. Uh, let me go ahead and get my wrench. Tighten it up. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall. There we go. Nice and quick and easy. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get our power set up here. So this runs an 8-pin and also a 6-pin, believe it or not, uh, for the 970, which is really kind of surprising for, wrong side, uh, surprising for uh, how small the car it is. Um, so, oh, I'm sorry, two 6-pins. I thought it was an 8 and a 6. There we go. Two 6-pins here. Hard to see in the dark. There we go. Those are all good. Just gonna fix our Velcro here. Uh, get rid of this other little plus two. Don't want it hanging around, causing any issues or anything like that. Uh, so that'll get us. Velcro is your best friend. Okay, cool. All right, so we haven't run this card yet. We actually just got this one in. So let's go ahead. We're gonna power up our, our GPU power supply first. Ow, that hurt. There we go. And our, let's go ahead and see if she spins. Oh, there we go. And we got power, huzzah. So this, as I said, is the MSI uh, GTX NVIDIA 970 overclock. Fancy, fancy. Alrighty, so uh, we just went ahead and put the 970 in. Uh, before we go ahead and jump into how we're configuring that in Hive OS, want to let you guys know we do have Twitter. Uh, we actually have 24 followers. Woohoo! Um, so if you guys are interested uh, and you follow the crypto mining scene on Twitter, uh, please go ahead and drop a follow uh, hobbyist miner. They wouldn't let me do the hobbyist miner as it was too many um, letters. Anyways, check me out, hobbyist miner. Uh, love to, to have you uh, join the community. So swapping over here. Uh, to our rig. <clears throat> so what I did was, uh, as that was booting, I actually unset. There's an option usually right here that says unset. I unset the flight sheet. So let's go back over here. Let's refresh that again. 
um, and see what we got. Okay, so um, these settings are in here from when I first tried this. So let's go ahead and remove them. 225 and 1150. Remember that, guys. <laughs> so um, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five of our RX 470s in here. And then here is the 970. So and NVIDIA and AMD. So what you need to do is you have to come into your flight sheet. Uh, and then once you're into the flight sheet, you know, here's our Raven coin right here. So let's go ahead and edit this one. So previous to us doing anything here today, we have Ravencoin, we're, we're going to our Exodus wallet, we're using off of two miner as our pool, we're running the Team Red miner. So the Team Red a miner, uh, miner, that is only for AMD only. Well, we have, it, we have a NVIDIA card now. So here is how, it's very simple and easy actually, after I, I did some research on it, uh, I actually jumped into uh, the uh, Red Panda Mining Discord. The, the Discord is huge, there's thousands of people in there and they're answering questions all day long and so someone helped me out in there. So what you do, come over on the right hand side if you need to run several miners, hit add miner. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna hit add miner. So here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do Ravencoin again. We're gonna go to the same wallet. We're gonna select the same pool. Uh, and I go ahead and do the US ones there. Okay, and now for the miner, I'm gonna go ahead and select T-Rex miner. I've had a lot of good luck with that in the past. Um, but if you guys have any recommendations uh, for this card, I know it's older, GTX 970, please let me know. Uh, as of right now, we'll try the two miner here. Okay, so that's it. The system is smart enough to say, if it's an AMD card, use Team Red Miner. If it's an NVIDIA card, use T-Rex Miner. So we're gonna go ahead and hit update on that. Uh, and so as you can see now in our flight sheets, we have two different uh, types of miners going. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're going to set that to the moon. So that is set um, now. And as you can see, now we're running both. So now what I'm gonna do is go into overclocking and I'm gonna go ahead and edit. And as you can see, look, now what it does is, look, we're on AMD. These are, see, here's all of our 970s. And if you flip the switch, now it goes over to NVIDIA. So we're gonna put in that 225, and then we're also gonna do the 1150 here. Now we're not doing any underclock uh, settings at all. As of right now, we're just trying to get things up and running. So that allows you to switch back, switch back and forth, and you can hit save. So now let's go ahead and go into overview. And uh, it's, it's slowly updating, as you can see up here, uh, it's pulling in these configs, so it's gonna take a second. Uh, what I like to do after I do this, because the system gets all out of funk, is I'll go ahead up top here and just reboot it. Especially when you're doing all this stuff at once, you have so many configs pushing down, just reboot it, it makes life easier. While that's rebooting, take a look at the very top here, so you can see both the miners actually operate separately. The first miner, Team Red Miner at the top here, it'll go ahead and you actually will have a blank spot here because there is no, uh, that first slot is actually taken by the 970. And then the additional slots here, uh, one, two, three, and four and five will all be for the 470s. Then uh, down below for the uh, for the T-Rex Miner for NVIDIA, uh, it will go ahead and populate the first slot here, which is slot zero. Um, by the way, if anybody knows how to get rid of the onboard, please let me know. Uh, I don't know if you turn that off after you do the initial setup or what, but I'd love to know if anybody knows how to turn this off so it stops showing. So the system's currently rebooting. I do have a monitor hooked up to it. I'm just kind of looking over my shoulder there. Um, and uh, you guys can always, if you're interested, come in and do the remote access. So if you, you don't need to have a monitor hooked to your system ever, except for maybe like the first few minutes of boot uh, with Hive OS. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just do uh, Hive um, shell start. Let's go ahead and do that uh, and wait for that to pull up there. Uh, and that'll allow us to see what's going on in that regard. So as you can see, it says Hive shell and it's kind of thinking. Uh, so we'll give it a second. I wanna swap over. This flight sheet is set. Yes, it is. I just wanted to validate. There you go, you had set in the config, uh, which is good. In the meantime, our Hive Shell is available, so let's go ahead and click that little box there, and then this is gonna go ahead and pop up, which is so cool. And now we're gonna type in Miner, and it's gonna show you exactly what's going on with our system. So this looks like it's going ahead and booting everything up here. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit longer as it needs to add the Miner itself, um, especially when you're running two Miners, it has to kind of boot up both Miners, and it has to download everything for that second Miner uh, directly from Hive OS. 
So um, <clears throat> right now, uh, it looks like that um, we, oh, we got some fans going in the background, which is good. Um, so it's slowly booting up. It's not quite 100% ready yet, uh, which makes sense. Um, but what we can do now is we can take a look at both. So uh, right here, we'll wait for this job to pop up. While we're doing that, let's swap over and go back to our overview. Okay, so we can see here um, it is showing. This hasn't updated yet. We'll give it a second because these are really low. But we can see now a lot of information here. We can see our GTX 970. It's only doing 4.8 mega hash so that we should be able to bump that up. Um, and uh, there's our overclocks. And then here are our 470s that it says it's doing 5 to 6. I think we get up to about 13 once we get it overclocked and configured. If you look up top, we can see see how this is split like I was talking about. Team Red Miner doesn't have anything in slot 0. That is where the 970 is, but it has something in slot 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and refresh this. And uh, we're starting to get off the races here on these at 13. This one doesn't seem to be doing as well. So I'm going to have to play around with this configuration for uh, our 970. But if we swap over to our box here, okay, what you can do is if you look in the bottom right hand corner, this is running two miners. So you can do control AA. And now we've swapped over to T-Rex Miner. So now we can see down here at T-Rex Miner, you can see GPU 0, the MSI GTX 970. Um, it's doing 4.8 uh, mega hash. It's running at 59C. Uh, the power is 150 watts and the fan speed is at 56. So we can cut back to the other side, control AA. And now we can see on the other side that we're upwards right around 12.7 um, so as, as we, and it looks like there's a little uh, miscommunication between uh, the Hive OS and the actual console there. Yeah, it looks like it's updating a little bit at a time now. So it looks like our fans though are kind of going crazy right now. So we're going to give it some time. It does sometimes take some time to balance out. But as of right now, we are now mining Ravencoin on AMD and also on NVIDIA. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful. I know we were a little bit all over the place there and we actually ran quite long. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I'm hoping uh, in a future video, we can go ahead and test out that bad 470 card to figure out what is going on, if it's salvageable or where we go from here, or if we need to order a different card. Uh, the 970s are just kind of fillers for right now until I can get enough uh, risers in. Once I get enough risers in, then we can go ahead and uh, get these all these cards running. Um, but as of right now, GPU riser is sold out and back ordered on all the risers. So we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for joining me today. I'll see you guys next time.